see um i started school so you guys haven't been seeing as much of me but i am finally back with a video and i usually wouldn't like film during this time but i decided like i need to start filming more of my life because a lot of the times i don't know i feel like i don't want to be like obligated to film everything that i do but at the same time like I do a lot that you guys don't know about and I feel like it would be fun to bring you guys along. But sometimes I'm running late and stuff, but I go to a whole bunch of concerts all the time. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I'm like at concerts all the time. I love going to concerts and I don't really post like the get ready with me or anything because I'm always like running late. Look how red my skin gets. Anyway, I'm always running late or whatever, so it's like kind of difficult. But I'm going to do a get ready with me today to go see Marca Mepe for the second time. I already seen Marca Mepe. Um... I forgot when. I think it was like still in the summertime. And now I'm going to go see them again today. It is. They're going to be in. Um, Where is it? They're going to be in Modesto. Which is where they like come from. Or I'm pretty sure Chato's from like Ceres. But like Ceres and Modesto are like. Come on stop playing do the same thing to me. Anyway. It's like 30 minutes from me. So it's super close. Um, but the last time I seen them was in Stockton. And it was super empty guys. Like there was nobody there. Which I thought there's going to be a lot of people there. Because it's like close to their hometown. But that just goes to show that the people from your hometown hate on you the most. Because that thing was so like empty. That we literally. We got like more back seats. But we ended up moving super close to them. Because there was like empty seats everywhere. But anyway. It's currently 12.46 and I want to start getting ready. I did my hair and everything first because I had Rapuru like right here because um, I don't know what's happening. I don't think I'm getting sick. We're not going to manifest that for myself. But I left school early yesterday because my nose was extremely runny and my head was hurting and my ears were hurting. And I had tested myself for COVID the day before I went to school to just make sure that I was safe and I was safe. I didn't have COVID. And then I tested myself again when I came home early from school yesterday which was Friday and still no covid so um i'm good but i think it's just my allergies honestly because i don't know i don't have a cough i just kind of had an itchy throat and i had a runny nose and i have like this thing with my allergies where i get really tense right here and with like the the mucus buildup and with like how tense i am and the stress and everything like my ears start hurting and my head starts hurting a lot and i went to the doctors for it before and they told me just to take zyrtec and to like stop clenching my jaw when i'm sleeping and so i didn't go to the doctor yesterday because i was like they're gonna tell me the same thing again because this was like a while back but like it started coming back and i think like it's honestly just my allergies because i have really really bad allergies guys and i'm feeling a lot better though like i could talk like i remember thursday night i couldn't really talk because my throat was hurting and like it was just super bad but it only lasted around three or four days and i feel perfectly fine now it's mainly just the mucus buildup in my throat but hopefully I'm good and I hope that my nose doesn't start running. It's not running right now, but I did have Apuru right there. And I'm just going to blow it one more time before I start my makeup. So let me go do that. I'm going to update you guys because I haven't talked to you guys in a long time. I also got Starbucks. I got a Venti Ice White Milk with Pumpkin Cream Cold Foam. I was going to get extra caramel drizzle, but like me, me and my mom are both trying like new drinks. And they're like crazy drinks like with a lot of ingredients. And both of our drinks ended up being like $8 each. So I didn't add extra caramel drizzle because I was like, that's way too expensive for a freaking drink. And so, even though my mom ended up paying for it, but still like. The thing with me is I don't like let anybody buy me something that I wouldn't buy for myself. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't like taking advantage of people like, oh, just because my mom is paying, I'm going to get like an expensive drink. No, like. I'm only going to get what I would buy if I was paying with my own money, which I thought I was going to pay, but she was like, no, I'll pay. I was like, okay. So, I don't really know what kind of makeup look I'm going to do. My mom is vacuuming. Of course, she's vacuuming. Just kidding. Do your thing, mom. I guess. She's going to try coming to my room and vacuuming. Because she, like, she'll literally come in my room and start cleaning random stuff. And then I have to take it from her. I'm like, I'll do it. So what are you doing cleaning my room? She's, she's a mess. She's literally a mess. I don't know what kind of makeup look I want to do because like I love some people like don't really care to like get ready for concerts me on the other hand I don't really go out that often so when I do I'm always ready like I always get ready you never know what's gonna happen like what if Chato calls me up on the stage like you never know you never know nah because I seen this one person that was like why did Chato just randomly pull up to my school like that is very much a possibility you know like you never know so like why you gotta get ready every single day 
No, but today he's going to be here in Modesto. In the hometown. And I bet you it's not going to be sold out because people are haters. Like, seriously. General admission, so, like, we can't even... Hopefully it's, like, not too packed. Because the thing is, it starts at, like, 4. But then Chato posted on his story, like, Puertas Auran a las 6. So I was like, okay, so does it open at 4 or 6? But I think, like, the... I think he's going to start performing at 6. But, like, the doors open at 4. Because Banda La Dictiva and, like, other people are going to be there. But I don't really care to be there, like, early. Like, usually I go to the concert, like, 30 minutes to an hour early just to, like, make sure we're good, you know? Because, like... There's some concerts that there's a line and there's some concerts that there's not a line. Like when I went to go see Luis Ara Conriquez and like Banda Records and all of them. There was like a line but it wasn't that bad. When I went to go see Banda MS, there was a long line to get inside. And then when I went to go see a Bad Bunny, oh my god, that line. We were in that line for like two hours. Like the concert didn't start till like two hours like after I said it was going to start. And like, so you never know. Like eyeliner came out so thick but I'm honestly just going to leave it. And pretend like it's fine because i'm lazy to take it off like that's way too much work okay, these are like not really that even and these are like the thickest things i've ever done in my whole entire life but it's fine because if i just keep <laughs> if i keep going they're not gonna get anything in so let's just put my eyelashes on really quickly <clears throat> i'm gonna do the elf halo glow liquid filter i did my makeup with this like because i was bored um what's it called yesterday when i came home from school because i took my makeup off because like i was blowing my nose and, like my whole makeup was off and then like later on i like did it randomly just because i was like bored with this and no foundation and honestly i think i'm gonna wear this to school and no foundation because it like looks so good and like since my skin has been pretty good lately like i don't really need that much coverage and i just put this on with like some concealer under my eyes and like some blush and it looked really good the only thing is that I look super pale because my, I don't know if you guys can see, but like my face is like more paler than my body. And once the sun goes away, like give it like two weeks and my like tan will be gone. I kind of feel like my tan is already fading. Like I don't stay tan for long. But this summer I definitely did get a lot more tan because I went to the lake and I went to the beach. So only once, but that's all it literally takes. Like I get tan like pretty easily. So I actually didn't get burnt. Thank God, because when I get burnt, I get burnt burns. Like, it doesn't even look like a high foundation on. And, like, these, like, the Liquid Glow and the Pretty Fresh ColourPop Foundation is, like, the best duo. Like, my skin it looks so good. You guys don't even know. So, school. If you guys don't know, I'm a senior in high school. And I've changed my classes like six million times, but I'm finally at a good place with my schedule. I guess it's all right. I have pretty good teachers. Like all my classes are pretty easy. If you guys know, well, if you guys do your work and actually get through all your years and do all your requirements, um, your your senior year should be mainly electives. So I have mainly electives, and school is seeming a little pointless at this moment. Like it is for a lot of seniors. Because we go to school to take all electives and it's just boring, but you need those elective credits to graduate. So, um, I'm super excited to graduate in May. It's literally less than a year. Like, that's freaking crazy, guys. I'm going to be a college student. I am planning on going to college. I'm planning on going to community college, though. Just because I don't really, like, want to be a full-time student, for one. I don't want to be in all that debt, for two. Even, like... It's just not worth it to me, honestly. Like, I don't really want to go to university. Like, I want to... I don't want to be a college girl. I want to be an adult. Like, you know what I mean? So, I just want to, like, get out there, start a life. You know, get an apartment by myself. Get a job. Like, but I want... I like to learn. And I want to get a higher education. But I just don't want it to be all I'm doing. You know what I mean? And I feel like I'm, I've always been a very independent person. And I feel like I've always made things happen for myself. So I know that whatever I put my mind to will happen. And I really do want to move out either like at 18 or 19. Hopefully before I'm 20 I want to move out. 
and you know get my own place or move out with somebody um so that's that that's my goal that's what i'm hoping for but yeah so i'm super excited this juvia's place concealer is such a mess and i don't know if it's me or if it's a concealer but it's okay because i like it um anyway so yeah i'm excited just to like finally be free of this eight to three you know school days or whatever now it's like nine to four so that sucks but it's my last year what can you say i'm gonna i haven't contoured my nose in so long guys i'm gonna do that today first i contour the bottom then i'm gonna do a little like circle at the top Down currently 1 15 i'm not leaving until 3 girl i need to relax i'm and i literally already did my hair oh my god i literally am always like early for everything besides school school i'm always late but i always get ready like so fast because i like think i need more time than i actually do i started getting ready like at like 12 something but like i've only been doing my makeup for 30 minutes and I already did my hair. I did it in like 10 minutes. I'm probably going to touch it up. But all I have to do is like pack my bag. And like figure out what I'm going to wear. Which I already know what like shirt I'm going to wear. But maybe if I don't like it I'll change my outfit. I use the Fenty Beauty powder. Like I still have. I have like normal to dry skin. And as to like when before I used to have like really severely dry skin. So I feel like and different products work on me and i know how to like use products now like before i feel like i didn't really know how to use products because this like product is really matte but if you prep with the right stuff after i like patted my powder in i kind of just like brush over it this fancy powder like just does it for me like it, i have it in butter and it's like super mattifying and it's like super blurring and I love it. I love a matte base. Honestly, even though I, I like use dewy products, like I love a matte base. I'm going to use this NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop powder for the rest of my face. I set my face with the Fenty like under my eyes, my T-zone right here and then like my smile lens. And cut where I have my bronzer. And I'm only going to use one blush today. And it's going to be the close to perfect. I used to use close to perfect and crushed. But I've just been using one recently. And I like it. I'm really sad because like this blush guys. It's her old formula. And I don't think she came out with it in the new formula. So if you don't already have it. I don't think you can get it. Which sucks for me too. Because girl I'm going to run out of this. And I'm already knowing I am. So if you know a dupe for the close to perfect Kylie blush, like let me know you said. I just pack it on with this Real Techniques blush brush. I also go like underneath my nose right here. And then I get the Pixie, no not Pixie, Luxie blush brush and I blend it out. And this blends out so good. I do such a dewy base so that I can put like 60 million powders on my face, I swear to God. But I'm going to use this Essence Brightening Powder. If you don't already have this, what are you doing? Everybody has told you to buy this. I already know. I've told you to buy this. So if you don't have it, what the are you doing? If you love a bright under eye, this is so good. And like this even, well right now I'm like, I feel like I am pale. But I'm not as pale as I was before. But this even brightened my under eyes when I was pale. Because it's such a struggle to get bright under eyes when you're like pale. Because I cannot find no concealer light enough. But Juvia's Place actually had a concealer light enough. And it's literally like white. Like it's literally white. It's like the, I think it's the lightest shade or the second lightest shade. It's in 24. So if you're more pale and you struggle to find a light enough concealer for a bright under eye. Use this and then use this powder and it's so good. And I mix this with um, a little bit of my Too Faced powder. I mean my Too Faced concealer that is a little bit lighter. So I just put like if you guys seen in the in before. 
I put the light one in my inner corner and then right here and then I put the one that's like my shade but a little bit lighter in the middle and I kind of just mix it all together and it gives me such a nice under eye and then I put the brightening powder and you get a bright under eye 10 to 10 recommend so I'm gonna get this it like broke but it's the color pop like eyeshadow in girl it is wiped off it looks like this and it's like white and it looks like the diamond um what's it called this one hold on t beauty how many carrots but it's a little bit more pigmented because it's an eyeshadow so i like to use that on my inner corner and i feel like you just like get such a pretty inner corner i get this brush from aoe studio it's the perfect inner corner brush I get to drag it under here okay it's not focusing I like to drag it underneath here because I like it to meet up with my bronzer. So I get bronzer to make my eyes look a little bit bigger, like my eyeballs, to give it like that dimension. And I like to meet it with the highlighter. So that's why I put the highlighter like right there. And then meet it with the highlighter. And you might think this is weird. Like, I don't, I don't think I've ever really met anybody that did this. But it just works for me because I don't really like having it up here. Sometimes I will, sometimes I won't. But I usually don't put bronzer on my eyelid. Just underneath. And then, oh my god, look how much of this I have left. I need to get a new one ASAP. But it's Dainty Days. You guys know. My pride and joy. So I think I know what, like, shirt I want to wear. Because was, it was in between two shirts. But honestly, like... One of them is a long sleeve, and even though it is super cropped, I just don't think I'm going to survive in a long sleeve. So, I'm going to show you guys the shirt. Leather, like, long sleeve, and it's super cute. I just don't think I'm going to, like, survive if it wants to. Like, I don't even know how this shirt goes. This is the worst part about buying these shirts, so I never know how they go. Anyway, so it's like a little, like, V, but it's, like, strapless in the back. And I think it like it's supposed to have like your two straps up here, so it looks like that. Anyway, I just don't know what um, pants to wear, but I know I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna wear these like heels, these little like chanclas. They're like little heels or whatever, and they have like the snake print. And these are my favorites. I have the white version of these. You guys have seen me wear them before, but I think they're just perfect because they're not like too high, but they like give you a little bit of like a little heel. Okay, so let's try on some. Let's try on some. Um, some stuff let me just put on the shirt okay guys i finally got the shirt on when i tell you it was the hardest thing ever because oh my god i just broke my toenail i had to like yesterday i was trying it on and i like tied it in the back so like i didn't lose where the strings are supposed to go and i tied it way too tight so then when i tried putting it on right now like i messed up the strings a little bit but you can't really tell this is what the back looks like. This is what the front looks like. I feel like I will be able to like breathe in this. So now let's figure out what pants I'm going to wear. Okay guys, so this is the final look. Basically, I'm wearing the same shirt that I showed you guys. It's like the tie kind of goes like higher, but it's fine. And then I'm wearing shorts because I didn't really want to wear jeans. Just because of the whole it's a heat wave situation. And then I'm going to wear it with these little like heels like i told you guys i think it's like cute it's like not too it's like casual because you know some concerts are like based around your outfits like bad bunny obviously you want to go crazy but like for marca and i think you could kind of wear whatever you want because they're not really like so this is my outfit and i'm just gonna wear like this purse i know you guys are tired of but it's my favorite purse and i only wear black so it matches with everything and I think it's super cute finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope I see you guys soon in another year ready with me. Even though I know like I kind of suck at posting. Especially when school's in. But I never forget about you guys. Anyway, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.